when it comes to presentation, as we already mentioned, details might be more important on the ice than in open water. And as Dave Gens explains, it all begins with the balance between the rod, the line, and the lure. Well, it's really important to spool up fresh line, especially at the beginning of the season. You know, that, that rod and reel is laid around somewhere throughout the, throughout the summer period. It's been hot, and it gets memory. It gets some coils in it that, that the... Uh, I gotta take a little break here, folks. I can't uh, talk right, oh, it got off. Well, I can just start over. <laughs> like I was saying before, before I was so rudely interrupted, that it's really important to have that fresh line uh, and get the memory out of the line because it, when it's wrapped around the spool here th throughout the summer period especially, it, it gets memory, it has these coils in it. And when you lower it down your, the, the hole, it's got, you know, kinks in it. So a new line is a lot better. But, you know, if you're like, even myself, you don't get that done sometimes on your first trip. What you can do is stretch the line. So you know you're gonna fish in, in 20 feet of water. Just take that line and run it through your fingers like this. And, and that'll, you know, give it a little stretch and get the kinks out of it so it hangs straight to whatever depth that you're gonna be fishing that day. That can help you save that, that trip where you didn't, uh, didn't get that new line on. But something to remember when you're fishing with light line, especially old line, uh, this isn't as strong. You know, so if you're only fishing with, with two pound test, let's say, and you've got old line on there, you know, it's more like fishing with one pound or less. And then you end up breaking off all the time. And you say, well, geez, I, that two pound test, no, a new two pound test is amazingly strong. So just, you know, keep fresh line on and you don't need the fish with that heavy line and everything will perform better. Because it's important to get the balance between your rod, your line, and your lure. The lure has to be heavy enough to take the kinks out of the line. See how straight this line hangs right here? It's, it's hanging perfectly straight. So everything I do with my rod tip is transferred to the lure. You know, I give it that little kicking motion and you see how the, the, the lure rocks then. Now if I had coils in my line when I did that, the line would go up and down, the lure wouldn't move. Now I'm fishing with, with uh, some two pound line here and my rod has to be soft enough so that when I set the hook, give it a big jerk, that the line doesn't break. You know, I'm pulling this thing really hard, and, but the line doesn't break because the rod cushions it. Because visibility is commonly so good for iced over fish, especially in clear, shallow water, presentation details make all the difference. One secret is the use of modern, horizontal ice jigs. They look realistic to picky fish, but it's important to make sure your horizontal jig remains horizontal. Pay close attention to the position of the knot in the eyelet of the jig. This is a horizontal lure here. And, you know, it's important when using a horizontal lure to make sure it hangs horizontal. You know, here, after I catch a fish on it, it hangs like this. It's almost a vertical lure. I must make sure I slide the knot around the eye of the jig so that the lure hangs horizontal. One of the most universally effective presentations used primarily with horizontal jigs, is known as the Gens Pound. To achieve the pounding presentation, vibrate your wrist in tiny but rapid movements so the jig appears to kick like a bucking bronco. Watching someone do this, the up and down movements are tiny, almost unnoticeable unless you look close. Keep the rapid vibrating movements going and keep them the same. To check different depths, raise or lower the rod as you keep pounding the jig. It's very effective to raise or lower slowly as you keep the vibration steady. And I fish that with this constant little pounding motion. And it, 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 you, just keep the, you just keep it going like that. You keep that lure, you keep that lure kicking. You keep it, keep it moving. All the time, you know, in the water, it's not quite as, as crazy as it is in the air up here. 
but you keep it lure, moving. And every time that lure drops, you can see the line right here is, gets a little bow in it. Every time it straightens out, I feel that lure bounce. Learning what the jig feels like as it bounces and learning to notice when the bounce goes away is crucial for detecting bites. More on that in the next section. For now, back to the basics of presentation. Sometimes fish want a horizontal presentation and sometimes they prefer vertical. You discover what the fish want by showing them choices and letting them tell you by either biting or refusing your offerings. Here's Gens again on the very basics of how to switch from horizontal to vertical. Now if it was a vertical lure, I don't have one rigged up right here, but we'll kind of turn this into a, a vertical lure here. Not, you know, not perfect, but that's worked more with a pumping motion, more up and down. You know, when, when you jig it like this, even that way it doesn't kick or they, they work well on a spring where that spring bobber is, is bobbing up and down. You know, so you use a pumping motion with your vertical lures and a kicking motion with your horizontal lures. And just, just remember that when you're choosing your lure and how you're gonna fish it.